Hey there. Oh there. <laughs> That's a funny joke. Hi guys. Hello. What's all this? This is meal prep. Extrava? Ganza. Yeah. My friends, if you're new to this channel, Kyle and I have lost 130 pounds each. That's 130. And we've kept it off for a few years now. And this is our fifth year and this is how we do it yep losing weight it's not just a physical thing it's here and it's here fight through it you can do it don't give up so this is meal prep for snacks and breakfast so let's start um first you can't have breakfast without the coffee right so what we do every night we make we pour six cups of water in. That's enough for one large cup of coffee each. And this is just normal Black & Decker coffee maker. Yep. Um, right now we're using the Starbucks. This is the blonde roast and um, it's just the grounds. And you even want your coffee ready because you, we are all about no excuses. Yep. So what we do is we wake up, we start the coffee and do our fasted cardio. And then it's ready for when we're done. We're all about no excuses and time management. So we we like to do five level tablespoons. Um, and that makes beautiful flavored coffee for us. And you'd be surprised how extra long it takes to do something like this in the morning when you're tired versus the night before. Yeah, and then, you know, you didn't get your coffee and you're sleepy. So now the water's in there, the coffee's ready. All we do, press start. Now this does have that feature on it. You can get one where you set the timer and it just goes off automatically, but it takes two seconds to do that in the morning. So coffee is ready. Now let's move on to the yogurt. So this is Greek yogurt. It is, this is the one from Walmart, the Our Finest Fat-Free Greek Yogurt, and it is plain. And um, we like to flavor it with almond butter. So this is the Our Finest um, Smooth Almond Butter. And then we put frozen berries in it, and this is half a cup of frozen berries, one tablespoon of almond butter, and half a cup of Greek yogurt. I like when the berries thaw out and they flavor the yogurt really nicely like fruit. So I'm just gonna stir this up to show you how we do it. Measure everything out, stir it up, and... And here's the berry mix we get at Walmart, four berry blend. Yep, and then we just, I just throw the berries in on top, and then I mix it up in the morning, stick the lid on, put it in the fridge, that is ready to go. The berries also flavor your yogurt. Yep, the berries also flavor your yogurt, and all I do is, after cardio, get my coffee poured, pull out my yogurt, first meal's done. So, now, let's move on to tuna. This is our pre-workout. Um, we call them snacks, but these are meals too. Like. This is actually a meal. Um, this is our pre-workout meal. It is also, we use it as our, it's a lunch or a supper um, would be for you. This is one can of tuna in every container. Two are for Kyle, two are for me. This is for two days worth. There is one medium dill pickle chopped for every container. We get the great value dill pickles. This, they had these Polsky or Gorky <laughs> dills, um, they didn't have normal dills. So that's what we use this time. They were out of like the great value brand, so we have French's, but any cheap mustard will do. And that's about, I would say, two teaspoons. Just a squirt. Just a squirt. Um, then we have one tablespoon of the half the fat Hellman's in there, the light one, mayo. And then we used this um, clover leaf chunk light tuna. And again, it's one can per. We dump all the cans in a strainer to drain it because it's easier to do it quickly. And then we just measure it out. Um, and we figured out that each can is about 3.4 ounces. So um, we just put it on our scale and you can get any scale from Walmart. This is just a food scale. This is a perfect portions from Bed Bath & Beyond. Yeah, but you food can get scale. like a cheap food scale from Walmart or a grocery store. So I just pour it in until it reaches 
3.4, that was pretty accurate. And then we will just mix it up like that and then cover it with the lid and put it in the fridge for the next day. Yep, in the next few days here. Yep, well then again, the next couple of days. So you've now got your pre-workout done and your first meal. Let's move on to, this is our nighttime snack. It has half a cup of cottage cheese and it is the 1% great value cottage cheese. Cottage cheese is slow digesting, so it's really good for people who are trying to build muscle like Kyle and I right now. It helps keep your muscles fueled basically all night long. In this one is ha one tablespoon of the all natural peanut butter with half a teaspoon of sweetener. And we're using this great value no calorie sweetener. And in this one, this one is Kyle's he prefers just the normal craft smooth peanut butter, and that's one tablespoon, half a cup of one tablespoon of peanut butter, half a cup of cottage cheese, and again a half teaspoon of the sweetener. So we will just stir this up, put the plastic wrap over top, and then put it in the fridge for right before bed. And this is what it looks like blended or mixed, I should say, and this is done. And if you don't like the lumps, you can blend it. We do that sometimes. Yes, you just add a little bit of, of non-dairy milk and um, that's it. Throw it in a blender and it'll puree out smooth and then no lumps. So we've got that covered. Now I'll show you the protein pancakes. This is what it looks like blended. Um, I use for myself, this is for me, I use a third cup of the quick oats, and these are just the great value one and a half minute quick oats. I put in one tablespoon of unsweetened applesauce for the moisture. Two thirds a cup of egg whites, that's equal to five egg whites. And then half a tablespoon of protein powder. This one is Cellucor cinnamon swirl, and it is whey isolate, and I just blend it up on high for about 40 seconds and then I'll show you how I make them. Okay friends, I have a preheated a medium pan on four or medium high and I sprayed it with cooking spray, whatever's cheapest, this was on sale. Once your pan is heated and ready to go, I pour half of my batter into the pan and it should be um, very runny. Um, because it's just egg whites and protein powder. And don't so, worry, it'll firm up. Yep, it'll firm up. So just um, coat your pan and then I'll let you know when it's time to flip it. Okay friends, once you start seeing the little bubbles around the edges, um, it's ready to flip. Let's see your flipping skills, bud. All right, one, two, three. Whoa! Nailed it. Nice and golden brown and ready to go. Then I just pop it in this container and these are just from the dollar store and stick it in the fridge for tomorrow morning. So I just sort of fold it in half and that's what it looks like cooked. And now I'm gonna spray the pan and make another one. Pretty, and good, that... pretty good looking for just oats, egg whites, and protein powder. Yeah, yeah it is. And of course it is gonna be flat because there's no baking powder or soda. So then you just pour the remainder of your batter in to coat the pan. Yeah, if you wanted it fluffy, you could add some baking soda, powder, whatever. Yep, um, baking soda for fluff. Um, for rising. So I just use the spatula to get as much of the rest of the batter as I can and I just um, you know sort of do like a little chef maneuver. Uh, um, uh, a waluba around to make sure it gets the whole pan. <laughs> okay friends so there you got it. You got your protein pancakes ready, cottage cheese, berries and yogurt, and your tuna all prepped and ready to go. Oh, and your coffee. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this and learned a few tips. Got some inspiration to do your own meal prep. And don't forget, if you're new to this channel, we do this. We do what's called the Fist of Doom. If you don't like and subscribe, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, because if you don't, this is what you're getting. The Fist of Doom. Thanks. Bye, friends. Bye, guys.